Should we begin, Father Terence? I'm sorry? Should we begin the meeting? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, should we? The meeting, it's I don't, it time. I, 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 I'm really sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Password! <coughs> Say the password! Sorry, Father. Um, oh, Mrs. Edwards. How could you? Right. Um, shall we start the meeting then? Um, I'll just take a, a, a quick roll call for everyone. Um, let's see. Father Terence. That's me. Yes. Present. Um, Brother Christian. Yeah, I'm present. Um, journalist. Um, yes, I'm present. Great. Um, have you got any new members this week? No. Okay. Uh, shall we get started then? We're here today at the headquarters of a radical new Christian cult. We've managed to secure a meeting with its leader and, over the course of the documentary, we hope to gain some insight into this cult and its practices. I first became aware of the group after stumbling across their publicity video. Are you tired of your everyday boring life? Are you tired of having to get up and work every day? Well, if you join me, you don't have to. Join me in our new church and you will discover truth. You will discover love and you will discover eternal happiness immediately. So, what is the name of your cult? I'm sorry, cult? Did you just say cult? Um, We're not a cult. We don't go on into the woods like a bunch of loonies getting naked and dancing around fires, praising the mother spirit. We are a religion. I'm, We're not a cult. I'm very... Disgusting. I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, uh, for the one true religion, you do seem a little uh, thin on the ground at the moment. How many uh, members do you have? Thin on the ground? Um, I think, I wouldn't say that we're thin on the grass. That's not really a fair... That's not a fair no. judgement. Um, we have grown 100% in the last two months. We may be thin on the ground now, as you put it, journalist. But uh, I think you'll find this in uh, four to five years' time. Approximately. Approximately. Four to five years. All of the world will be uh, members of our religion that has the one true religion. All it will take is a... Uh, Four to five years time. If we continue growing at 100%, four to five years? Four to five years, approximately. Four to five years? Four to five years, yes. Today, um, how, how many members do you have? Well, I mean, as I say, four to five years time, all of the world. I mean, today, um, overall, overall, we've had three, three. three members. Three is um, total. Total. So uh, not continuous, but uh, we've got two members now. I managed to track down the former member of the group and ask why he left. I finally came, uh, came to my senses, and uh, I realised that you know, uh, it was very embarrassing to be part of such a cult. For the benefit in the, of the world, what would you say your core beliefs are? We only really have one belief. One core belief. One core belief. Um, we believe that um, I am the uh, forthcoming of, uh, the, of Jesus Christ. You are the forthcoming? The of, forthcoming, yes. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ, yes. That's four with an O. And a U. And an O? Yes. And an O. Um, and an F. What would... And, and what would you define as the uh, second and third comings in that case? I mean, you say what would you define as if it's, you know, debatable. It's facts. It's facts. We, deal, we only deal with facts. We're like scientists, but more true. So it's clear that the, the first coming is, of course, Jesus. Second, second coming, Catherine of Aragon, obviously. Uh, people often forget that. Um, third coming, Prince. And fourth coming, um, you're speaking to um, Prince, Prince, the, John, the, uh, the Prince. The Prince. It's been seven hours and fifteen days since you took your love away. Oh, I go out every night and sleep all day. 
since you took your love away. In that case, how did you uh, first discover that you were the forthcoming of Jesus this Christ? Is a, this is a very good story. Um, so, I mean, I was in the shower one day, and I suppose I've always known that I am the, uh, the forthcoming. Uh, but I was just in the shower one day, uh, you know, just uh, enjoying a good old wash, and I just thought to myself, I think I might be Jesus. How have your recruitment efforts gone on the street, spreading your blue? Yes, I mean, it's been going really good, I think. Uh, really, really positive on the street. Positive is the correct word. Definitely positive. And not negative. Hi, can I interest you in accepting me as your new Lord and Saviour? <laughs> well, I think it was positive. Definitely positive. Definitely positive. You know, it takes time to hear the word, and the word is his. All the words, in fact. I, word. I don't just have one word. As you can tell, I am. He can speak other words. He really saved me. I did save him. Uh, spiritually. Physically. Uh, physically. Yeah. Metaphorically. Virtually. Virtually. All, all the illies. Um, not sexually. <coughs> uh, but, sorry about that. Um, I really should have asked this earlier, but what is the story behind the spoons? Um, we uh, wear the spoon as shown in the uh, Last Supper. Very clearly. In the Last Supper? The Last Supper. In the painting. The painting of the, the Last Supper. Which, of course, is historically fact. Um, yes. Well, thank, well, thank you for your time, Father Terence. But I do just have one final question. Are you aware that there was actually no spoon at the Last Supper? Uh, there was just a knife. Purple rain